Hello farmers, welcome back to With the Farms and welcome back to the Massey Ferguson. The Massey Ferguson is back on the farm because in the morning I sent it right back on up to the shop and had them do it a, a, a full once over. Everything has been changed that need to be changed. The oil, the filters, all the fittings have been greased. And while we're there, I got brand new tires with weights put onto them. Not just any tires, but wide tires. That alone right there cost me just under 6,000 pounds. Kind of, kind of a hefty bill, but you know what? Now we got a Massey Ferguson at 100% with brand new tires and weights on it. Uh, while I was there this morning, I said, um, yeah, I saw this sitting up back. I'm like, uh, what's, what's, what's the cost to lease this thing? Oh, yes, the Estrella 32, the Stara. We're going to be planting with that today. So that cost 3,200 pounds to lease, and I added some extra seed onto the bill as well. Um, I came down first and topped off the seed that I had, and I went back to the store and bought some more. So between the leasing and the seed, that was uh, 8,000 pounds. So I have spent pretty close to 15,000 pounds today uh, just getting ready to go back to work. Uh, the mower is in the shed over here. That's uh, set up, ready to go. Uh, the one thing I kind of forgot about with that mower set down, putting it into a swath, I can mow in front and put the baler behind it and get it all done in one go. Uh, that would be kind of helpful. Um, but let's go ahead and jump uh, jump into our Massey Ferguson. Let's fire it on up, and we got to put the beacons on, because getting down the road with this drill, well, it's kind of wide here, so um, I may have to clear out traffic before you go anywhere, because traffic around here is not too forgiving, if you, if you kind of understand that. Uh, we'll see if the traffic is a problem or not. But we're going to go ahead and plant some barley today in the field. Uh, we've got some lime spread down in it in the morning. But now it's time to plant. Uh, I've been kind of looking for some side jobs because I want to buy the field that's kind of across the road from us before harvest time for that canola. Uh, it's going to be kind of tight if we can do so, uh, money-wise and time-wise here. It's going to be kind of tricky. Just like getting out in traffic here. It's going to be kind of tricky. Traffic was a little troublesome getting around that corner, but overall we managed rather well. We are here, only to go an extra 100 yards or so. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get right to the edge that we possibly can. Put it on down. Turn it on. I will have to fertilize this. I uh, don't know if I'll get to it today or not, but I may have a couple jobs lined up for myself for fertilizing afterwards. So I may go ahead and do that before I get my field done here. I mean, I can get the field done maybe tomorrow. Uh, the crop shouldn't grow too tall, and I should be just fine there. I was looking, since I'm leasing this, I was looking for a couple jobs to maybe go seed a few fields, but uh, nothing in the books currently. So, yeah, once I get done planting here, I'll have to ship the drill on back after I get my seed back out of here because... I don't want to bring my seed back and give them the seed. I want to keep the seed for myself. Looks like we're planting just fine, covering in the area good. Looks like the lime is blending in with the soil nicely. So our pH value should be pretty good. Uh, our nitrogen levels, yeah, they probably need a little bit of help. But we'll get fertilizing here maybe in the next day or two. I think I'll go fertilize some other people's fields first, uh, bring in some cash, help pay off some of the bills I already piled up this morning.
got you, baby, here in my heart. When I'm with you, I feel so much better. Oh, yeah. Before you, I was just a shell, so stuck in the dark. You came into my life and started a fire. It made me feel like I could touch the sky. Oh, there's nothing missing now that you're my desire. Now all I have to do is to make you mine. Cause I know, and you know what we could be. Like a song, like a perfect melody. Baby, don't. This Massey Ferguson is definitely a nice addition to the farm. The T8 would not be able to handle this uh, drill itself. Probably 120 horsepower under the requirement for this. But this Massey Ferguson, no problem hauling this around. I am thinking though, now that the farm doesn't have a loan uh, currently, although I do have to pay off this uh, Massey Ferguson along with the mowing set and everything else I bought for for 250,000. Uh, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I got five years to pay it off. Um, we're going to try to pay it off sooner than that. But uh, with no overhanging loan that's just constantly on my mind, I am thinking that this year when I harvest the barley, I'm probably going to maybe sell half of it. Maybe more, depending on how much we get. Uh, at least keep them maybe like thirty to 40,000 liters in the silo for the chickens. Uh, but I think next crop, I may go ahead and put maybe like soybean in here or canola. Uh, probably something like that just to I don't need I don't need to keep doing cereal crop and getting straw and selling the straw although it's it is good money I can get good money from the soybeans and canola as well but I think it maybe it's time to put a different crop in this field do a little bit of crop rotation in here be good for the soil but I do like this drill uh, we've been using uh, a nine meter wide one which is not too bad this is like 14 and a half so 50% bigger, but it seems like I'm getting the job done a lot quicker with this. Uh, plus, I don't have to go from fill to seed as much. Uh, this drill does have an extension on it, so I can put more seed in here. I can put fertilizer in here, but I want to fertilize after I plant. That way we can get the right amount of fertilizer down for the crop that I am planting. And one more pass, and we are good to go for the rest of the day on this field here. And, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and check the job board. Uh, I know there's a lot of fertilizing contracts out there I could possibly take, and I probably would do uh, one or two of them today to bring in the extra cash. That field right over there is the one with a beautiful canola into it. Yeah, I want to be able to buy that before it's ready for harvest, but that harvest is going to come quicker probably before I'm ready for it. I'm hoping the grass field tomorrow is ready, or my grass fields are ready. So I can cut those, bale them on up, wrap them. Uh, the problem is it will take a couple days to ferment before I sell it to the BGA. Then I don't get paid from the BGA until midnight. So, yeah, I'm hoping all that happens before. If not, you know, maybe I'll go talk to the land uh, owner of that land. I, I know they're trying to sell it. So maybe I'll go talk to them and just in case I don't have the cash. Say I'm interested in, in it. Um... They may want to harvest it before they sell it to me anyway, so I'll have to see how that goes. But and if that's the case, and then there's no rush to go ahead and buy it before they harvest it, because if they want the harvest, then that's that's the whole rush point. Um, then I'll just buy it after they harvest it and won't worry about it, I guess. So, yeah, we got lime down in this field. This should be good. I believe the grass fields, we got most of the lime down. I think the bigger grass field, uh, we ran out of lime just near the end. So it's almost completely limed. But I think this Massey Ferguson can handle the mowers in the front and the baler in the back. That set up alone there will save me a lot of time compared to before where I just had one mower in the front, or it wasn't in the front, it was in the back of the T8. And then I had to windrow it, then bail it, then wrap it. Each individual job, but hopefully with the setup we got with the Massey Ferguson, I can mow it and bail it in one go, and then I just have to wrap it. And I won't have to lease the windrower. 
so it'll save me tons of time. And that also will save time and wear on the tractor from that, doing that many runs. It's all good. And speaking of good, this field is good with the barley. Just I got, got, got to come over back here and throw some fertilizer down uh, tomorrow-ish, possibly. Another thing I would like to do is get some sheds put up on my farm. A seed and fertilizer shed. So I can just refill from there and the store can come top it off now and then. Rather than keep buying bags of it all the time. Luckily no traffic was coming coming around there. I should have my beacons on but I'm just back to the farm anyways. Yeah, the only issue with this drill is it, it gets a little snug here and there, but we are okay as long as I hug the hedgerows when I turn. Let's go ahead and empty out this drill before I return it. Then I'm going to go use the TA, uh, put the fertilizer spreader on the back of it. And I think this field right over here, I think that, that uh, farmer was here the other day and he wants it fertilized. And it's something I definitely can do for him. Took on a couple of contracts, got the one right over here in this canola field done already. Fertilizing, did spend 6,000 pounds on fertilizer. So that's a hefty bill, but, you know, you needed to get jobs done. Uh, and I'll make the money back, no problem whatsoever. Uh, how do we get into this field? There's two ways, I think, and one of them is right here. Go ahead and turn it on. Going to get paid very handsomely for these two contracts. I think about 20,000 pounds in total is what I'll get paid. So I'll get the money back on the fertilizer and hopefully I'll have enough to get my field done also. So that would be a nice little bonus. While I was up there, I did uh, leave word with the store uh, because I was talking about um, possibly expanding my farm a little bit and uh, I am going to have the fertilizer and seed hut installed on my farm in the next couple of days that'll cost me just about six grand so I mean it'll, it'll, it'll save me from going back and forth to the store all the time it'll be right there at the farm so it'll be a nice little addition but I also uh, put word in that well I didn't put word in I kind of said that I would like to buy the field right down there I know they're interested in selling it and they knew the owners were coming in today at the store so I left for them like they, to have the owner call me and see what we come up with a deal for that field right over there. I, I'm pretty sure they're going to want to harvest it before they sell it to me, but maybe we'll come up with some kind of a deal. Uh, maybe go 50-50 on the harvest or something like that. Because I could, I mean, I would have to harvest it, but then uh, give them like 50% of the harvest. But if I do that, then maybe I want them to bring down the price a little bit on the land. So we'll see. I'll have to come up with uh, see what kind of deal I can strike up with them, if anything at all. But this is going to work out great. I mean, if I can get that field and at least get some of the harvest off that, perfect. Just perfect. And if I get these grass fields cut, if I can get three cuts in the grass fields this year, I can almost pay off that Massey Ferguson and mower set this year. Along with... Uh, because, I mean, we're going to get some straw to sell. So that would be good. Yeah, I think we can come up with maybe, I don't know, maybe 250000 is stretching it a little bit. I was wondering why it wasn't spreading fertilizer there. And I think it's not spreading fertilizer there. Because I was right next to my grass field. And I bet you I've been spraying fertilizer on this field. And the precision farming's kicking in and turning off my spreader. So I'll have to deactivate the computer so it'll spread the fertilizer there so I can get this contract done. And not really burning through the fertilizer too much. But then again, maybe these fields don't have, uh, they haven't been soil sampled. But I'm getting fertilizer down. The two contracts I'm doing right now is from the same farmer. He owns both of these fields. And I was looking at these fields 
previously, but the price was just uh, would be way out of my ballpark. But in the future, I could I could see myself maybe possibly buying this farmland over here if he's willing to sell it. I think it was like two hundred twenty thousand pounds for both fields. But being right next to our farm, that would be perfect for us. Could definitely expand quite a bit if I had this over here. Although I got plenty of land where I currently am now. Um, but I definitely would like to, at some point, maybe get myself a better, better living quarters. I can get by with what I have for maybe another year or two. But if I plan to be here long term, then definitely a better living area would be very nice. But also, getting more farm equipment is probably more of a priority. And But before I do so, the shed that I currently have is starting to get a little clustered. So <laughs> I may have to expand on the sheds a little bit also. But, you know, sheds are not that expensive considering. Of course, I can say that now, the way the money is starting to come in and with no bank loan. It's easy to say, you know, the shed that's like 15, 20,000 is not that expensive. But it wasn't that long ago, it seemed like that 10, 20,000 was extremely expensive. Maybe next season, that drill that I used just to plant our barley field. We have to ask the uh, store if they're willing to maybe possibly look into selling that to me. I think the store likes selling the used equipment that they have that they put out for lease because they can go buy new and then lease a new equipment for a better price for them. But I have no problem buying used equipment and fixing that up the way I need to. Well, I think that is a job well done, and I got plenty of fertilizer left over. I don't know if it's going to be enough to get our field done or not. I don't. I think I'll wait until tomorrow before I fertilize it, or maybe I should do it uh, later on today. The only reason why I'm thinking is because I may be busy cutting the grass and doing that. But so I don't think it's going to take that long to cut the grass and bale it and wrap it. Now that I got this set up here with the Massey Ferguson. The 8737 and this wonderful butterfly mower set that we got that I'll put into a nice swath and then pull the coon baler behind us. Then it's got to go ahead and then wrap it on up. Uh, I should double check on my grass fields. I think I got the fertilizer down. Yep, we are good on fertilizer and pH value. I mean, the grass is ready to be cut now, but it can grow a lot taller than that. So I'm going to wait probably one more day at least before I decide to cut it. I gotta get the seed back in. Uh, but the store is gonna send their guys on down. They're gonna put a fertilizer and seed shed right down here. And the store will keep it kind of always full for us. So I just gotta pull up once in a while and top off what we need when we need it. But uh, everything is looking good. Yeah, so if I keep about 30 or 40,000 liters of barley from this year's harvest, that should be more than enough for our chickens. Our chickens are multiplying because Ronnie the rooster is doing what he needs to do. And the hens are doing what they need to do. And they're slowly making some eggs. Now, it looks like they got plenty of feed there. They should be all set. Speaking of all set, I think I'm all set for the rest of the day. Uh, I should probably go in and have some dinner since it's... Uh, well, it's actually right 5 o'clock right now. Then I'll come back out and get my shed all sorted out. And that way it's nice and clean, ready for tomorrow.